חוזה. Right, we might get started, everyone. Mike, we might get started. Stay there if you want, but we might get started. Yeah. Cool. Uh, welcome along, Tony and Jeremy. Do you want to run through? I understand you've got a bit of a presentation. And then we'll um, take questions, and then we'll, you know, we've also got another item with you in PX, so we'll, we'll do this and then that. So. Oh, goodness. Great. All right. I'll just go straight into it. Can, yeah. I, can I move the slide here, or do you have to do that for me? I can. You should be able to do it at your end, hopefully. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so um, CCHL's SOI and those of the subsidiaries have been prepared in accordance with the Local Government Act, uh, noting that LPC is governed by the Port Companies Act and Orion is governed by the Energy Companies Act. All feedback from the draft SOIs has been included in the final SOIs. Given that the draft SOIs were presented in detail to Council in April, this presentation will focus at a high level on forecasts at a group and parent level across the SOI period. Okay, so for the group metrics, FY21 NPAT includes 35 million of investment property revaluations, which are not included in the forecast NPAT numbers, noting that all forecasts exclude investment property revaluations. If we adjusted for that normalised NPAD in FY21 would be 58 million in line with forecast um, FY22 NPAT. Movements in profits across the SOI period uh, is largely driven by Orion's default price path, anticipated future regulatory changes that will impact enable, improved forecasts from LPC as a result of pricing efficiencies, higher net interest expense across the group as a result of global economic conditions and rising interest rates, and particularly a slower than expected recovery for the airport from the ongoing impacts of COVID, uh, with a notable uplift now in forecast in FY25. Um, parent metrics are largely in line with the draft SOI, with the exception of profits in FY22 and FY23 due to the delay of the, of the final Orion dividend payment of 14 million from FY22 um, into FY23. As previously mentioned, Orion's dividends are impacted by the transfer of the final FY22 dividend of 14 million from FY22 to FY23 in line with what was done in FY21 and 22, which means that the catch-up happens in FY23 when three dividends are received as opposed to two. In FY21, the airport was not in a position to pay a dividend due to COVID-related impacts. However, Enable paid its first dividend of 18 million and RBL Property paid a special dividend of 17 million. The airport managed to pay a five million dividend in FY22 and is expected to return closer to pre-COVID levels from FY25 onwards. Enable and LPC show consistent dividend growth across the SOI period and city care dividends are reflective of continuing pressure on margins, particularly around inflation and labour shortages. In recent years, dividends to council have been impacted by the capital release and balancing the need to pay dividends while managing debt, which is reflected in FY21 and FY22, although FY21 dividends are inflated by the 17 million RBL property special dividend. Dividends throughout the SOI period are forecast to be in line with council's long-term plan and represent an average payout ratio of 76%. That concludes the presentation. We can now open up for any questions. Great. Uh, thank you very much for that. Do we have any questions for the table? Oh, Jeremy, is there anything you wanted to add as chair? No, I think that summarises it. Uh, you've seen some of it before. So happy with that. Thank Great. you. Great. Okay, they are really useful to have in the, in the public domain so people can Absolutely. have a look too. Yeah. Any questions from anybody? Yanni? Yeah, thanks. Are, are you um, able to give us any sense of, I mean, it's a, a common thing that we've requested through um, the draft SOI process. 
um, and the letters of expectation is around what's happening with senior executive remuneration restraint. Yep, so all of those have been, um, will be reported in the annual reports this year and have been included um, as a commitment in the SOIs. Right, are you able to tell us what the trend has been? No. Uh, we don't have that yet, so right. they'll be first reported in the annual reports in FY22. So when, when will those annual reports be made available? Uh, some will be available in August and some will be later in September. Okay. Um, and just wanted to check around sort of, um, you've, you've got obviously Enable, um, I, I don't know if you're able to give us any more detail, 2.6. Um, I guess I was just concerned that Enable seems to be very um, active in advertising and I, and, I, and I just wondered in terms of working with Enable how you're um, just looking at them if they're reducing their dividend forecasts are they also looking at to reduce expenditure and if so how are they doing that? Uh, well the dividend forecast is more around um, in line with their projected impact, it's lower than was previously forecast in last year's SOI and um, enable looking at uh, where they can um, look at opportunities to improve that going forward. Right. But given our current climate, is anyone looking at reducing expenditure? All of the subsidiaries are looking at reducing expenditure. It's something they do regardless of the current climate. Right. Um, and just a final question from me, and I, I think I've asked this previously, but um, I thought there was work happening, but is, is, it, is CCHL doing any sort of strategic property review across all of our companies to work out the best synergy around um, uh, capital development, property development, um, property holdings? In, term, yeah. in terms of the group? Yeah, right, right across the group. I mean, they're still owned and developed and strategically managed by each of the individual subsidiaries. We have a lot of collaboration between the subsidiaries and looking at uh, where there might be touch points that they can work together. Uh, and then at a strategic level, uh, as part of what the council is asking us to look at, we, we look at our overall uh, group holdings of all of our assets at a strategic level. So it's the touch point is probably through CCHL, but uh, the subsidiaries don't actually get together and work on those things uh, as a group. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jimmy's got a question. Regarding your metrics, the table, the key performance, the first one, CCHL, the group, I'm not, not sure how, how where this uh, figure comes from, like uh, net profit after tax. We compare the financial year 2023 and the 24. If 24 last year, your figure 98. Where did this figure come from? Uh, for last, that'll be in last year's SOI. So for last year's SOI, included um, forecasts for 22, 23, 24, and that's where those numbers have come from. Yeah, if they true, but if they forecast 20. 1, 20, 23, the figure is less. Why you can become a 90, 90, 98? I, I, I know any idea. For instance, like a financial year last year, should be financial, uh, financial year 2024. 20, last year is 2023. 20, oh. Then the figure 68. Where, where is the figure 98? Yeah, so a lot of that is due to um, the impacts of COVID and the delay of the airport and their recovery. I think it, it just picking up, I, if, if I understand it correctly, if you look at the column FY24, yeah, 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 where it says last year, yeah, so 98, yeah, that is the figure, yeah, that was in when we presented last year for what we thought would be earned in 2024. Oh, still the same year, or, years or one result. year before that, your forecast. That's right. It was last year's forecast of what we thought would be earned in 2024. Okay, and this okay. year we're saying it's 94 million, not 98 million. Yeah. But if they true, for what's the difference between the forecast last year and the draft SOI? What's the difference? 
definition. Yeah, so a lot of that is driven by the airport. So their recovery from the impacts of COVID is, is expected to be slower. Yeah. Okay, so, so actually this one is a combined all your the individual group, that, accessory group. Yeah, that's right. But then if you look at FY25, yes. um, between the draft and the final SOI, yes. that uplift of 12 million yeah. is largely due to the airport. It's just that okay. their recovery is taking longer. Yes. But when it happens, it's going to be better than they had previously expected yeah. when they did their draft SOI, even back. Yeah. three or four months ago. Okay, Great. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm happy to move this. Are you looking to second it, Aaron? Yeah, happy to second. I just had one um, small question. It might not even be relevant, but uh, is the recent court decision to, uh, around the water bottling plants and their consent, if obviously the protest group is that they don't bottle water here anymore, and that all goes out by Littleton, have Littleton Port <coughs> Company considered what that loss of revenue would be if we no longer export? Those units don't have that information to hand. Right, they haven't sent through anything saying, "Oh, if this goes this way." No, no, right. I would suspect it's not material, but I can right. find out. Yeah, it, it would be good. Or, good or it hasn't been baked into any any uh, the figures, but we we haven't had any changes to their SOI plans off the back of that. No, because if there's lots of water going out, then there's lots of freight going through the port. If there's not much going out, and material won't really matter. But yeah. I Okay, so we've got them. We so we've got that moved that. and seconded. Um, any discussion? We'll put that to the vote. All in favour, say aye. aye. Against. That's carried. Great. Thank you very much. Do you both stay for the next item, which is in public excluded. Thanks. So we'll just if David can bring up the resolution around. Um, Sorry. No, I think it'll be okay. For, yeah. yeah. Can I just have my vote recorded against? Sir. Against oh, you the, sure? Sir. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Yanni voted against that. Resolution. Yeah. Great. So I'm happy to move that we go into public excluded. Pauline's happy to second it. All in favour? Against. That's carried. Thank you. We'll just turn the camera.